guys to those joining me live and to those that'll be joining me on archive d style here how's it going everybody let me do a quick sound check let me make sure the sound is working archive D-style. and it is working all right got one page open on this laptop, so I got to do the sound check that way. By the way, if you like the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, like a speed bag. That way, you notify when these style comes on live, just like this. What's going on, everybody? I see John in the chat. What's up, man? Um, I see DJ Mexicanos at Texas. What's up to you? Check it out. This is these style boxing stories, volume two, power of your own piss. That's right. Tommy Tepper saying, you know, big up D guys. Make sure you share the video. If you listen archive, remember to throw a jab at the like button. Right? Make sure you throw a like at that um at the jab, uh, jab that like button. Throw a like at the jab button. What, what am I talking about? You throw a jab at that like button. Do it now. Do it fast. All right. So, so make sure you do that. Check this out. Just, just check this out. Do you guys remember on September nineteenth, two thousand nine? Floyd Mayweather was making his comeback after about a two-year hiatus. He was going to be facing Juan Manuel Marquez. They were going to have a catchweight fight at about 144 pounds. Mayweather ended up not making that weight, but he did pay a penalty, and they made that fight. Mayweather was coming back. Marquez was a lightweight king at the time. So he was jumping up virtually two weight classes to face Floyd Mayweather Jr. Without a shadow of doubt, despite the layoff of Mayweather, he was definitely the favorite coming in. But it was, you know, definitely since the fight with Pacquiao, Mayweather was being talked about, it was an interesting fight to make at the time. There was a great series on HBO at the time. It was still a hit in those days. It was called HBO's 24-7, which hyped up all the big fights. I'm sure you guys remember those. There was one particular episode that sent shockwaves okay, across the world. Went viral. There was a scene that went viral here on YouTube. And let me describe this scene to you and why it's important to describe it because it's important to the story. Juan Manuel Marquez was getting ready to face Mayweather. They were showing all these awesome stuff. He was in the mountains picking up, picking up rocks and throwing them over his head. You know, he was having like a Rocky Four style shit up in the mountains over there in Mexico City, right? Running up hills and, you know, uh, shopping wood. And you could hear, if you listened closely, even though they didn't play it, okay, you can hear. The Rocky music playing, dun, da, da, dun, da, dun, da, da, da. you could hear it. You could, I swear to God, if you if you watch those scenes. But then he was in a chamber with, with oxygen, all this huge high tech shit, right? Like holy shit, like Mark is going all out, and then he unleashed his secret weapon, the one that took the cake. Juan Manuel Marquez proceeded, right? They had a scene. I'll never forget it. It was like a little table, right? Like like one of those little tables here at an Italian restaurant, you know, without the cover on it. But a nice little small table, nice little chair, you know. You were ready to have a candlelight dinner, but there's no candlelights and there's no date. It's just there. There's a glass there, a nice, I don't know if it was crystal, but it, it looked so clean. Like They made sure that thing was sparkling clean for the camera. Marquez, Juan Manuel Marquez grabs this glass. Juan Manuel Marquez proceeds to walk into the restroom. Juan Manuel Marquez 
takes a piss. The majority goes in the toilet, but he somehow pours a nice amount on this medium-sized glass. There's no splash in the glass, nothing. Like he was, he, I mean, he knew how to pour. If you think your bartender can pour liquor, Juan Manuel Marquez poured his own piss on this nice clean glass with no splash or anything, right? It was just nice. He sets it on the table. The dude sits down, gets comfortable. Juan Manuel Marquez picks up the glass. Juan Manuel Marquez brings the glass closer to his lips. Juan Manuel Marquez touches the glass with his lips. Juan Manuel Marquez proceeds to start lifting, elevating the glass as everyone watched in horror. Little by little, the yellow substance was getting closer and closer to his lips as Juan Manuel Marquez rose that glass. And closer it got and closer it got. The piss touches the lips of Juan Manuel Marquez. All this happened, slow, it felt like slow motion. Juan Manuel Marquez proceeded to start drinking his own urine. Juan Manuel Marquez finished the urine. Juan Manuel Marquez separated the glass from his lips. And Juan Manuel Marquez took a moment to go, ah. I swear to God. And he set the glass down. Every drop was gone. And he proceeded to explain all the benefits of drinking your own urine. He proceeded to explain that drinking your own urine is good for you. It has all these vitamins and it gives him an edge when he goes to the ring. That's right. He goes, ah, haplotype in the house, H in the house. What's going on? Juan Manuel Marquez drank his own urine. And the whole world was like, what the fuck's going on? I was like, well, what is this? Shit went viral. People that don't watch boxing were watching this shit. Right? Worst of all, you actually had individuals saying, ah, maybe, you know, maybe he's doing something right. I mean, he's a, you know, he's a world champion. You know, he's successful. You know, he's one of the tops. He's he's in the tops of his whole sport. You know, he's top two, top three, you know. He was in the top five for sure, pound for pound. You know, maybe maybe this works. And there was one individual who was the biggest advocate I knew about. I, like, I knew one individual who was the biggest advocate of this. And this is how we start. These Dallas Boxing Stories, Volume 2. <laughs> my uncle I have several uncles but this particular uncle right, on the build up to this fight right, he needed to find a reason he's like, like I don't think he's going to win but I have to believe he said you have to believe in something in life you have to believe in something if you go through life not believing in something, it's a waste of time, he said. I said, Uncle, but, but he drank his own urine. We're at my grandmother's house. There was a gathering, right? There was a gathering. And at this time, a lot of family would get together to my grand grandmother's house because my grandfather had just passed away uh, that year in July, right? And I'll never forget it. Like, practically my whole family was there. From my mom's side. So we're there. This is the same grandfather, by the way, that passed away. Volume 1, check it out. Pajarito Moreno. Short story, check it out. On my channel, but check it out. So we're all there. We're in the front porch of my grandmother's house. Just pictured. It was a nice, beautiful day. Nice, sunny day in El Paso, Texas. Dry heat, so we're you know, below a porch. There's shade. We're fine. Okay. We were having normal conversations, conversing about normal shit. 
And then the fight came up, and he gave the speech about believing in something. And then I brought up, but did you see how he drank his own urine? Like this dude, like uncle, this dude, he drank his own urine. Like I know you saw that dude. I know you saw him drink his own urine. Like he, like he, I, he got the glass, he like the, in a glass, not not a paper glass. Oh, Mark is too too high class for that. Look, he's a paper glass to drink his own urine. Are you kidding me? I mean, this dude drank it like I drink like a shot of tequila. I mean, ah, he literally, I swear, it's real subtle, but he did it. All right, he did. I swear to God. My uncle said, ah. Oh, Tú no sabes nada. You don't know anything. Tú quién eres para decirle al campeón que, que trabaja y que no trabaja. Who are you to tell Chant what works and doesn't work? What, what do you know? What are you doing with your life? Then he gave a speech to everybody, his son, my other. What, what are you all done with your life to question Marquez and what he, he's done with it? Uh, his success? Who are you? Right? Who are you to question the champion? He was lecturing us, okay? And he's an elder. You can't argue with him. You gotta listen to him. Uh, here I am. And, he, and then he said, Tomando tu propia es lo máximo. I'll never forget. He said, lo máximo, he said. The maximum. That is the max. That is the best shit you can take out of everything. Any sports drink, H2O, any steroid, any anything, it's the best shit you can take. Right? And he's talking about how, you know, he 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 saw on TV how about how a doctor was saying how drink your own urine, right? What was was the shit and all that. Oh no, 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 tú, tú ustedes, ustedes no saben las vitaminas que, que, que tiene. To propio. You don't know what your own urine has. It contains a lot of vitamins, a lot of nutrients. Elo papasote. Elo mejor. It's the best. Shout out to Blood Boxing. Yeah, I saw Rob Riddler. Didn't really like that guy. But yeah, I, I saw him drink his own urine. People were doing his shit. Marcus had dudes on YouTube drinking their own urine. Doing a drinking urine test or, or challenge. Never talking about, oh, this new challenge shit. You know, we got a bunch of millennials out here to challenging themselves to drink, you know, all this toxic shit. You know, Marcus had them drinking their own urine. I think Marcus is responsible for these challenges, by the way. Well, Marcus did it, so why can't I do it, Mom? Like, well, what do you say to that? They have my uncle advocating it. He was advocating. No, 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 no. See, si, see, si, it's, it's lo mejor, it's lo maximo. He says the maximum. Like, and, and I'll never forget the horror in my aunt's face. His wife. De qué estás hablando? What are you talking about? No, no. And he started telling her. It's, it's the best. I, I don't take it. I'm not an athlete. I don't have to take it. But Marquez, I can see why he takes it. He needs to have the maximum nutrients on this. Fight. He's going to fight Floyd Mayweather, arguably the best fighter in the world. He, he needs every advantage possible. So obviously, drinking your own urine was the way to go. Obviously, drinking your own urine was 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 everything. Okay, that was a max, el maximo. And he looked at me straight in the eye and he said, "Tomando tu propia." It's the max. It's the it's the max. It's the supreme, the cream cream of the crop. There's nothing better. Nothing yet. like he he broke down the benefits. I'll never forget it. He was convinced. He was convinced. He was he was thinking about doing it himself. And si si gana Marquez, yo comenzar a hacerlo. Por qué no? Mira, si el campeón lo puede hacer, yo lo puedo hacer. Yo yo porque soy mejor que él. If the champ wins, if he gets this win, hell yeah, I'm going to charge you in my own urine. Obviously, it works. It brings good 
and then he used to start, I don't know if he was just making this shit up, but he said that he heard that all the nutrients help you live longer, that uh, <laughs> that the government is hiding this, this uh, vital information from us because they, they want us to, to, to buy, you know, shit from the stores and all this other shit, right? And although this was technically true, but it said, los astronautas, el lo que toman, the astronauts, astronauts, that's what they drink. I mean, he left out the part that they clean it. Right, but, but that aside, so it's one of those things where it's true, but you're not, you know, it's not the whole truth and nothing but the truth. All right, Joe Host in the house, but boxing in the house. What's up, guys? It's the whole truth and nothing but. Make sure you guys throw a jab at that like button. Shit out. He said this was the way to go. All right, and then there was another story at that time. There was another story. September twenty sixth or something. Like that uh, Vitalio, just a week after this fight, I, I, there was just something about piss that year. I don't know what it was. Yeah, Machida from the UFC was having success at that time. I, I believe he was undefeated, knocking dudes out. He like he talked about drinking his own urine, right? So you have people believe that like, maybe this is like a thing. Maybe you have to consider this. Uh, Vitaly Klitschko was getting ready to fight uh, the, the nightmare, Chris Ariola. All right. Yeah, just come back, you know, destroyed San Peter. Shout out to Huey Fury fighting San Peter in 2019. Shit's insane. But anyway, Vitaly, you know, had been talking about his secret healing power. You guys want to know what the secret healing power that he was talking about? He called it we, but you know the, his baby we for his three-year-old. He talked about how, at least not like Marquez, he used baby we because baby we, according to Vitaly Klitschko, was pure and it had no toxins. Right? He would use baby napkins, right, to hold a urine in. And again, this was his three-year-old. <laughs> the, the nappies would hold the liquid and swelling would stay down. So he would dip. He would use, like he would, I guess, I don't know it's from the diaper or what, or how he did it, or he just had his, when his son peed, he would just kind of use the wipey. I don't know why he did it. But he would like dip his hands in this, and he said it helped strengthen his hands. Right? Maybe Polly Malinaji should have done this shit. Maybe if Polly uh, put, Use non-toxic baby weed to dip his hands in. Maybe he wouldn't have broken his right hand and swollen his left hand. Right? Maybe he would have won that fight. Maybe Vitaly Klitschko knew the secret all along. But according to Vitaly, it worked because, hey, when he fought, his hands didn't swell up. Right? Hey, well, I used the Wii and my hands didn't swell, so obviously it worked, right? Marcus had been drinking his own urine. And he was winning fights, so obviously. And my uncle brought that up, and he said, look, there's something to this urine stuff. Like, él es el campeón del peso pesado. Él sabe lo que está hablando. He's a heavyweight champion. He knows what he's talking about. Do you know better than the world champion, he asked me. Do you know better than the heavyweight world champion? There's obviously something in that baby wee that, that makes his hands stronger. Right? I wonder if you use baby weed to heal those cuts from the Lennox Lewis fight. I don't know. All right. Like, uh, I could just picture this dude. All right. And this, ladies and gentlemen, all right. I mean, you could say it's confirmation bias, right? Well, look, I used it and it worked. I beat Samuel Peter. I, I dipped it in my son's wee, my hands, and they didn't swell up. So obviously, it was in the gloves or the, you know, my, my corner doing a great job wrapping my hands. And no, 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 no. It was my baby's wee. My baby's wee, okay, was the answer, right? That, that, that was giving me the ability to punch harder and not swell up those hands, right? It made my hands stronger. And Marquez, you know, he drank his wee, his own wee. Right? I know which was better. I guess Vitaly's because his, you know, in fairness, he said it was non-toxic, Right? Ah, it was not toxic. You know, it's, it's good. His own baby. This is insane. This is a fallacy called partial 
reinforcement effect. That's what this is. You get a small sample size of something, and then when you get the results you want, which would have happened anyway, you get this confirmation to yourself, a confirmation bias, right? That you in, that this is in fact the, the way to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Okay, stopped a, a, an entire generation of athletes and young men from drinking their own fucking urine. All right, like if if Marquez would have won that fight, if if Juan Manuel Marquez would have won that fight, you would have had. Kids everywhere drinking their own urine. Okay, go 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 ah, on a glass is shit. This shit's insane, right? Shit's insane. Uh, the the physical thing never caught on because you know yeah, I guess people were more like, ah, oh, come on, that's ridiculous. But drinking your own, your own urine is makes more sense, right? I'm still trying to figure out how Vitaly's a you know, has a PhD and, and actually believe that his baby's wee was going to make his hand stronger. I, I mean, I don't, I'm trying to wrap my head around that. All right. But <laughs> um, <laughs> that's crazy. All right. Now, were there other fi- uh, Did Vladimir do this shit too? I don't know if Vladimir did this too, man. Okay. But uh, it, it does make me wonder. It really does. No, no, petit style. There was, you know, fighters used to dip their hand in urine. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. All right. Plenty of fighters didn't dip their hand in urine. They did just fine. All right. They did just fine. My, my uncle would go, era lo maximo. It was a ma- like He was convinced that it was the maximum shit you could drink. All right. Could you imagine all the high school coaches being, hey, you saw what Marcus did, right? We're going to have to uh, not waste any urine, okay? We're no longer going to flush your urine on a toilet. We're going to put it in buckets. We're going to put put it in those uh, Gatorade buckets, right? So open at the top of the Gatorade bucket. Okay, you you piss in there, right? And we're going to use that to pour on those Gatorade cups. That's going to be our secret weapon. But just imagine this shit. just, Just imagine the catastrophe of, you know, if Mayweather would have lost this fight. Just imagine. I, I want you to take a moment and just try to picture a scenario where Marcus wins and, and then, you know, everyone's just convinced that drinking your own urine is the way to go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> after the fight. All right. Talk to my uncle after the fight. And I said, okay, I mean, he drank his own urine, and he didn't win. Like, what happened? And he said, no, pues, imagínate si no se había tomado. Había perdido peor por knockout. Well, he said, imagine if he didn't drink his own urine. He would have gotten knocked out. And he would have lost even worse. <laughs> what? Thankfully, Marquez dropped that regimen. I don't think he continued the regimen, right? And if he did, he definitely kept it secret, right? And he had more success after that. So, thankfully, the drinking your own urine shit was put to rest. And we didn't have a generation of kids drinking their own urine, drinking urine, right? We didn't have artificial urine being made with Marcus being the sponsor. Okay, we didn't, we didn't have any of that. But thankfully, it was put to rest because I am t- that would have been catastrophic. That would have been terrible. It would or would have. Now, did my uncle ever drink his own urine? I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. Um, I do wonder if, if some people, um, Blood mentioned it, but there was a dude here on YouTube that drank his own urine uh, on video. All right. I don't know because he lost a bit. I don't know what it was, but he drank his own urine. Right. But I don't know how many people did it thinking to themselves, well, Marcus does it. You know, um, I think I can do it, too. You know, and, and leading up to that fight, I just don't know. And if, if and then you have to wonder who gave Marcus this idea. 
Like who approached Marquez and told him this and not only told him, but convinced him to do it. And if it convinced the lightweight champion of the world to do this in boxing, and I'm hearing stories about Lyoto Machida drinking his own urine as well, then you have to wonder, and that's in MMA, you have to wonder how many athletes on the download because they didn't want to, it's one thing to do it, but to do it on camera with a nice, clear, clean glass with no splash. I was just trying to figure out how he came out of that with no splash on that glass, right? I mean, he, like, he knew how to pour that, like an expert, right? Imagine how many athletes were doing this shit. Because, you know, not, not all of them had the balls. Like, Marcus was like, I ah, fuck it. I'm going to tell everybody. Here's my secret. I drink my own urine. Look, everybody. And not only am I going to tell everybody I do it, I'm going to show you. I'm going to do it on camera on a very popular show 24-7 uh, in the age where YouTube was growing and it went viral. Marquez broke the internet that Sunday. 24-7 was on, I believe, on Saturday nights. That Sunday, the internet was broken. I believe, I mean, I, I think, I, I don't know if YouTube was ready for that shit. Like, that shit went so viral. You had people that never watched boxing sharing that video, talking about that video, talking about this dude, okay? Boxer drinks his own urine. Like the, the, Those were the title of the videos, and they had like 30,000 views. It was crazy. How many athletes are drinking their own damn urine? How many dudes were convinced that this was the way to go? Because Marquez cannot be the only one. He just can't. He can't be the only dude that actually bought this shit. All right? He can't be the only one. He just can't. And then who told Vitaly that using his baby's wee is going to make his hands stronger? Like, who told him that? Like, how did he come up with that? Why does it have uh, toxins? And What are you talking about? Urine is toxic. It, you're releasing all the toxins. That's literally what it is. All right. <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't have to? It, it is toxins. I don't care if it's a baby. So what? It's a baby. Oh, it's my baby's wee. But Joe Host, can you imagine the commercials? Drink your piss and stay out of trouble, kids. Rina Maxima is now available in Blueberry. Oh, my God. Joe, I, I don't know about that story, but I'll check it out. I don't read this shit out loud just because, it, you know, I have a lot of pranksters that come on here. So, AJ Tank, can we get a confirmation on that? Well, yeah, Joe Hodes, Vitaly would dip his hands on his baby's wee, he called it, on, on his baby's urine. You know, he would get the urine on the baby wipes and then he would, like, just dip his hands in it. Because he said it made, it made his hands strong. And it helped again, you know, it helped his, his hands not swelling up after a fight. And since his hand, since when he did it, his hands wouldn't swell up, he was convinced. He was convinced. Partial reinforcement effect. He was convinced completely. All right. Thank you, AJ10. Guys, if you come on my channel. Right, you can give breaking news, but if it turns out not to be true and you're just making it up, like you get banned. Like I'm just, I'm just letting you know. All right. Um, with that say, that that that's boxing stories volume two. Um, a little more lighthearted here. No, I, I my my uncle no longer advocates. Okay, for drinking your own urine. Okay, he doesn't advocate for that. You know, he's he's uh, he's not out there preaching to people and saying, you know, it's 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 lo maximo. It's it's no longer a thing. Thankfully, that died out. And I hope there's no athletes actually around drinking their own urine. And if you're someone out there that that believes in the benefits of drinking your own urine or utilizing urine to strengthen your hands or you know whatever the case is, 
right? Don't, don't be shy. Let me know. You know, I'm open to information, but I really want a compelling. I want compelling evidence that drinking your own urine really does, you know, make you better. Okay. I, I really do want that. All right. This is D Style Box. Make sure you throw a jab at that like button. In fact, let me do this really quick. Let, let me find some. Hold on. Hold on now. You guys, you guys wait. Hold on. Now. I want Roger Mayweather to tell you guys what to do with that with, with the like button. Roger, I'm not Roger. I'm sorry. Uh, Mayweather Senior, Floyd Mayweather Senior. I have him here. Some of these dudes they, they don't throw a jab at that like button. I, I need you to, to motivate these guys to throw a jab at this like button, Roger. Tell them. All right, so utilize your jab, man. Throw a jab at the damn like button. All right, <laughs> let's see it. Use your jab, man. Use your fucking jab at the like button. It sets everything up. This is the style boxing. Keep it boxing.